Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 26. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, please do well to subscribe to this channel. Like, subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. And to our subscribers, thank you for staying with us. Right, so we have this example from Lantern Step Book 5. We have here 9, 25, 4, 34. And here we have 4, 4, 2, 8. And here we have 25, 625, and 650. And here we have 0. Right, so we're going to work on this. So to find 34... Okay, so we're going to have 9 here plus 25. So 9 plus 25 is 34. Okay, so to find 9, we'll simply do the reverse of this. 34 minus 25 gives us 9. And to find... 25 we have 34 minus 9 equals 25 and to find 4 we're going to have 9 minus square root of 25 so we have square root of this 25 here so square root of 25, so we have 9 minus square root of 25 is 5. So 9 minus 5 gives us 4, okay? So we're going to work on this. We can try this last example. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Share with other teachers and friends. So here to find... 650 okay so we're going to have 25 here plus 625 and that gives us 650 and to find 25 we have 650 minus 625 that gives us 25 and to find 625 you simply reverse what you have done here so we have 650 minus 25 and that gives us 625 and lastly we have to find zero Okay, so we're going to have 25 minus square root of 625. And 25 minus square root of 625 is also 25. Now, when you multiply to understand this perfect squares, we have 25 times 25 gives us 625 so they have to be the it has to be the same number just like you have the square root of 4 is 2 square root of 64 is 8 right so square root of 625 is 25 so 25 minus 25 leaves us with 0 all right so don't forget to like subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye.